All right, so I promised I'd show off my CD collection, and uh, we're going to do just that for you right now. Uh, this is the newest book in my uh, collection, and we're going to work our way back to the oldest ones themselves. If you see any, like, inconsistency, like, when it comes to, like, um, where albums are and stuff, and how they aren't, like, connected to uh, the other albums and stuff from different artists, like... At this point in my collection history, I kind of just went fuck it and just put random albums, like, like even if they're unconnected or not in alphabetical order or anything like that. It just gets, it just gets really complicated after a while. So, um, like at first you may see some consistency, but then I just went fuck it and just put albums in, even if they don't make any like chronological sense. But you'll notice that. Part of the problem is because the pockets are just so small, you could barely fit the um, the CDs and their books in there. Like, here are some bonus discs and uh, second discs for like double albums and stuff. I kind of just have to put them in these pockets because these pockets are like the worst ones I've ever had to encounter. The other ones are very sleek, easy to put in, but these ones are really tight, so I kind of just have to work with the space given. Here's a compilation that my uh, ex-girlfriend made for me. I also made one for her, so a little reminder right there. And uh, to start off with the official albums, here is the Alan Parsons Project. I think it's a really cool project, a really cool band and stuff. Um, I also have a turn of a friendly card in there, but uh, like I said, everything just gets jumbled in there. So um, it's probably in there somewhere, but we'll have to see. I recommend Alan Parsons Project for sure. Here's um, Alice in Chains right there, Animals as Leaders, Ostra, Between the Buried and Me, uh, Black Sabbath, The Dio Years, and their newest one of course. Here's uh, Bloodbath right here, the last one with uh, Michael Ackerfee. I'm looking forward to their newest one. Here's Balls to Picasso, Bruce Dickinson, Jeff Buckley with Grace. I also have uh, sketches for my sweetheart the drunk in there as well. but. Um, like I said, it's it's definitely in there, it's just way later in the book because everything just gets complicated and stuff. Here's a Burzum with Fallen, a Carcass, Surgical Steel. Here's a Behemoth's new one, The Satanist. I can't fit the booklet in there because it's like an actual like hard book, so what can you do? Here's the Eternal Kingdom by Cult of Luna. It's the same issue and which they rectified with vertical right there like it's an actual like booklet instead of like a hard digipack here's uh daft punk right here random access memories death individual thought patterns dissection storm of the lights bane here's fen right here it's, it's a really good like uh sort of shoegazy black metal project it's obviously burnt since the albums are pretty expensive so i just bought the mp3 and uh downloaded it to the cd Here's a Ishan with After from 2010. Ishan, whatever, um, from Emperor. Here's um, uh, Immortal with uh, Bows in the North, Storm of the Lights Bane. I don't listen to these albums as much as I did when I first bought them, but they're there if I need them. Uh, Massive Attack right here, Protection, really good, like, trip-hop album. And Metallica, obviously, black album. Ozzy Osbourne, Diary of a Madman, really cool album, I really like it. Here's the uh, police with synchronicity. This is the first metal album that I've actually bought with my own hard-earned money. Um, it's not the first metal album that I've ever received. We'll see that much later on in the older books, but this is the first one that I've actually purchased with my own money. So yeah. Here's a uh, Red House Painters right here. Really cool, like indie folk project. Um, this is one of the bands that influenced Catatonia in their early days, and uh, I heard about them through Catatonia, so it's really, really cool. I really like them a lot. Here's a Riverside right here, their newest one. Here's a Sinistra. This is the band that Tommy Yutsen from Amorphous was in before he joined Amorphous, so um, yeah, that's something to start off with for any Amorphous fans out there. Here's a Slayer with Hello White's uh, Spheric Universe Experience with Mental Torments, the only album that I really enjoyed from them. Um, like, their last one was just really, really bad, but this is their first one, and I love it. I think it's great. Um, this is the legendary Stephen Wilson, of course, uh, his newest one right there. And uh, here's St Storm Corrosion, which uh, he did with uh, Michael Ackerfeet, so yeah. 
Stolen Babies. I um I saw them open up for Paradise Lost in Catatonia like a couple years back. I decided to support them and get that album for them and support them. Like I, like I said, here's a uh, System of a Down by uh, with uh, Toxicity. Uh, here's uh, Toke with uh, Natasti Zerpoten Vid, really cool black metal album. Uh, Tesseract with Altered State. Through These Gates, uh, In the Eyes of the Prophet, they, he released this last year. It's a one man blackened death metal project. I have the uh, sticker for it right there, which I put on the cover. I bought that a show of theirs, of his. Um, here's a U2 with War. Uh, Vangelis with. Um, I forget the name of the al album. I think it's Opera Sauvage. Uh, I don't know. I bought this a couple years back. I think it's a really cool, like, electronic classical synth album or whatever. Here's uh, Jonas Threngse with um, Bruce Sword. Um, this is um, Wisdom of Crowds. This is like a side project that they did together, which I think is really cool. War Morobaros. Um, this is a. Uh, you know the drummer Aesop from uh, Agaloc? He uh, is also the drummer for this, and they opened up for Agaloc, so I decided to support them. It's a really cool, like, shoegaze sort of album. Xanthocroid, Blessed He Who Boils, their debut. Here's um, Zaster with um, uh, uh, Telepathic with the Deceased or whatever. Really cool, like, sort of ambient black metal. Got John Mayer in there. Here's Meshuga, of course. Um, here's ICS Vortex. Here's um, Exhausted Prayer. I have their uh, first one as well, but that's in another book. Like I said, this is um, pretty much where everything just gets jumbled. Everything's kind of a mess now because I just went fuck it. Here's um, Arch Matthias Sympathetic Resonance from 2011. Great prog album. Uh, this is like a Finnish folk outfit, Tenyi, with uh, Mayat, or however you pronounce it. Really, really cool, folky sort of album. Here's Trip to Con right here, Paris de Mons. Here's uh, the newest one, also. Uh, JP, Judas Priest, Stained Class, Screaming for Vengeance, Painkiller. Elevati, uh, everything uh, remains as it never was. Um, it's, it's okay, I guess. Um, here's uh, Abigail's Ghost with Selling Insincerity. I heard them off of Last FM, and I really liked it. Here's a Gentle Giant, one of the prog legends with the power and the glory. I'm thinking about getting more albums from them as well. Really like them a lot. Here's a Paradise Lost right here. Yeah, Fields of the Nephilim, which is uh, an album or a band that basically helped influence Catatonia's very early work, like Dance of December Souls and stuff like that. That's like the album they cite as their best, and quite frankly, I do too. Blaze Bailey, of course, if you know Iron Maiden. Coldplay, um, even the newest one right there. Uh, this is my favorite by far, but that's not too bad, I guess. Here's a Depeche Mode right here. I've got a lot more Depeche Mode albums in the oldest book, but like I said, it's the same thing. Everything just gets jumbled. And there's uh, sketches from My Sweetheart the Drunk, like I said. Really cool album. Here's a Godhead with... Um, Power Tool Stigmata. I thought it was God Flesh, but eh, it's still a cool album. It's growing on me a bit. Filter with um, title of record. It's a cool industrial project. The first song I ever heard from them was um, a Take a Picture, which I heard back on the radio back in like the 90s. I remember loving that song, and uh, this is the album where it's from. Bjork with Post. Really cool, like um, Icelandic, electronic sort of music. It's very kind of experimental. Paradise Lost with Icon. And uh, that's all I got for now. I'm uh, definitely going to fill in the blanks later with just random albums and stuff. But sorry if I sound a bit rushed. I just wanted to get through all this. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, thank you very much and uh, stay tuned for the next videos.